Okay, guys, so um, ready for the second part? Um, start the solo. Uh, so the solo goes over the top of uh, the chorus chords. Um, now I've put it in a looper and it's got a drum beat that it puts to it, but basically you've got the chorus chords playing and uh, the solo goes over the top of it. Like so, somewhere near this anyway. Okay, so this is solo. Uh, we're going to slide middle finger up to the 8th fret of the G string uh, with the backstop of the 7th fret uh, with, the, with the index finger on the, on the uh, B and G strings. It's the 9th. Slide that up to the 11th. 12th, this is the B string. 9 11th for the E, 9 11th for the B and the G respectively. So it's a hammer on. On that 12th. I'm going to slide that B string down from the ninth to the seventh. Hammer on pull off on the sixth to the seventh. And then we got this, it's possibly a bum note, I don't know. With Johnny Murray, such a genius, you can make a bum note sound great. So it's an open G string. And then a hammer on the fifth fret of the B. Then we slide that whole thing up to the uh, ninth fret. Hammer on the eleventh of the D, of the G. D, sorry. Then we got a hammer on the twelfth of the B. First fret, third fret, sorry, of the G. Bend it. Fourth fret of D. Open E and B. Well, I'll recap all that. Slide right up to the 13th fret. With the 12th fret, 13th fret of the G, 12th fret of the B. Seventh for the uh, B, six of the E. Then open them out to nine seven. Eleven nine. Nine seven. We got uh, 12th fret of the B, 11th for the E.
Eleven nine to six four. Sorry. So, let's recap on so on that so far. Uh, shall I go from there? Go up to that, up to that twelve and eleventh again. Sorry. So these look pull-offs. I'm going to finish on the 8th and 7th fret of the B and the G, G and B rather. I'm going to slide the 8th. So, from the bends. All right, now the whole thing slowly. On this thirteen, twelve, eleven. Finish on that fourteenth uh, fret of the E string. And we got this. Sorry. So it's the 13th, uh, 13th on the G, 12th B, and a kind of bar on the rest. And, and you're going to be pulling this off in this open B string every now and then. But it's a bit random. It's not like every second time or third time. It's like first, then third, then fifth. I don't know. I don't know. And you just take your finger off and, and hit that open B string. You can hammer on that and uh, do whatever you want because it kind of you just want it to sort of flow. So we're gonna do that 16 times. Then we're gonna go to this fourth fret of the E string. Now the bass is playing. you do this and it carries on playing this while you're going to do everything else so right. 
Okay, so I've changed the camera angle around just slightly so that you can um, see the, t the neck uh, a bit easier. Um, I did it before and it um, <laughs> didn't come out very well, so... Uh, right, so we've done this. Finished that, I'm going to go into a D major 7 shape, uh, 00444. Fifth fret of the B, open B, third fret of the G, and I'm putting the fourth fret of the D on as well. I just feel comfortable doing it. Then we've got this hammer on, third to four from the G, and I'll open B. And we'll slide that G up. Six. There's two ways to finish, either a or a. We do either, so I'll do it all again. Go to that D major seven. Sorry. So open B. Oh, it's so hard to play slowly. Six. And then end up on this sort of F sharp minor shape part of it. 0064. Is it again? And we do it again, but this time we do the slide. So there's six of them all together. Now, God, enough, enough. Right, nearly there. Then we go up to here. Same as we did before. Finish is slightly different. So the same start. I'll do it again. And 
and the second time you go straight to that F sharp minor shape. on that sharp minor shape and the bar on the 16th fret right that is that is more than enough um, if you stay with me then you've done very well I hope that's clear enough I'll uh, uh, well thanks for watching cheers